What's up, Neon Nation? It's your girl Peggy here. Welcome back to the FCC, the Fried Chicken Channel. And yes, I just said Neon Nation <laughs> because Krisha Yamamoto just tweeted me on Twitter suggesting that I should call you guys Neon Nation and I like the sound of it, so I'm going with it. <laughs> so, thank you, Krisha. Okay, so as promised, today we're gonna eat some food from Texas Chicken. Texas chicken is also known as Church's chicken in the US, but in Asia it is known as Texas chicken. Yeah, initially I wanted to try their new yuzu pepper chicken. Unfortunately, it's not available anymore and they just came up with this new chicken. It's called the mala chicken. It is a spicy chicken and I've ordered 8 pieces of it. I believe these are the Chinese New Year specials. Also new on their menu are some curly fries which looks a lot like McDonald's Twister Fries. <laughs> and for the size, I've ordered one large mashed potatoes. Alright, if this is the first time on my fried chicken channel, welcome! I eat a lot of fried chicken on this channel, so if you're a big fan of fried chicken, please do consider subscribing to my channel and hit the bell icon next to it so you don't miss anything. <laughs> okay, it's chicken time! Spicy mala chicken. Looks pretty good. Oh wow, it's a little sweet and spicy. Okay, it's a little spicy. <laughs> okay, this is so much better than KFC. Uh, you know that honey sesame chicken? Yeah, that was dreadful. <laughs> in the picture, it looks like it's being drenched in honey, but it's so dry in reality. But this one, it's really moist. And you can see on the skin that there are lots of sauce on it. It's not dry at all. So. This is so much better. And the meat is really moist. Okay, the spiciness is just right. It's not so spicy like, you know, Wingstop's Atomic Wings. Yeah, it's not that spicy. It reminds me a lot of Wingstop's Mango Habanero Chicken. Yeah, that level of spiciness. And the taste also is pretty similar because it's a little sweet and spicy. <laughs> this is good. So much better than that dreadful KFC new chicken. It tastes a lot like McDonald's Twister Fries. But McDonald's Twister Fries um, is a lot more peppery. Potatoes with fries.
Okay, the best part. Oh my god, that was so good. <laughs> it's crunchy and very juicy. Okay, this chicken is really good. If you guys watching this or in Singapore right now, I would highly recommend this one. There's so much flavor in the chicken on its own. You don't even need to dip it in any sauce if you don't want to. You know, this combination is good. Oh my god. You guys should try it. I think someone dropped something outside. Yes. Okay, this is one big drumlet. Excuse me, burps.
You know, this is my second time eating Texas chicken, and I gotta say, I'm very impressed with it. I'm so glad we have Texas chicken here in Singapore. <laughs> Yeah, I finished the drawing. I should have the time lapse video up next week. Can you hear the crunch? So Valentine's Day is coming. I think I want to eat sushi. Yeah, a sushi video for Valentine's Day. Okay, 
This is the crunchy part. If you guys are gonna try this, as for the thigh meat, then you'll get that crunchy part and the skin. The meat is very juicy. If I have to grade this, I'll give this a 9 out of 10. You know, I get a lot of people asking me if this is like my only meal of the day. Yes, it is. 
I'm really eating so much in my video. I don't eat anything after that. You know, I think beer would go really well with this meal. But I don't drink. I used to, but not anymore. Finish the last piece of chicken.
you know, the Chinese New Year is coming up. I'm supposed to be like on a diet right now. Because there's going to be a lot of food. Yeah, so this Chinese New Year this is gonna be like one big party. You know, have having to meet a lot of people for two to three days straight. So I get anxiety when I have to do that. Well, as you all know, I'm very introvert myself, so. Social interactions can really, you know, drain me. Yeah, so I'm getting stressed out by the Chinese New Year thing. And having to, you know, make small talk with people that I don't really know. I'm sorry, there's just a lot of gas. Yeah, you know, nowadays I get a little stressed when I have to meet people, especially like a large group of people, you know, because they have seen my videos and a lot of times when I meet them, they would want me to perform for them. You know, like, oh, you can eat a lot in our videos, can you do that now? Eat 10 cheeseburger for me now uh, to show me and prove to me that you can really do it. You know, they want to see me do that. And I get that a lot. I actually did it one time 
just to prove it. You know, I think I ate four Subway sandwiches. <clears throat> yeah, but that was the only time. I don't do that anymore. Because it is a waste of my calories. Yeah, so I get really annoyed when people ask me to do that. You know, it's like sometimes you want to just meet up with your friends to have a nice normal meal, but they just keep wanting to stuff my face in food. You know, they will like keep pushing food to me just to see me eat a lot for their entertainment. Well, if they want to see me do that, they can watch my videos. That's what my videos are for.
yeah, finish everything today. <laughs> Today's meal is fantastic. Texas chicken's new spicy mala chicken is really good. If you guys watching this are in Singapore, you have to try this chicken. It's spicy, but it's not that spicy. You know, it's just enough to give it a little kick. Um, and it's also a little sweet, so yeah, try it. I highly recommend this. Try it before it's gone, just like that yuzu pepper chicken that I never got to try. <laughs> yeah, so I was saying that the Chinese New Year is coming up, and uh, which is great because I can get to meet up and catch up with a lot of my friends and family that I have not seen in a while. Uh, but at the same time, it's also giving me anxiety. <laughs> you know, I get like that whenever I have to go to um, a social event um, that requires me to meet a lot of people. Yeah, I, I just... <laughs> It's, it's it's not them, it's me, you know, it's not that I don't like them, it's just that I, I just don't, just not really a big fan of big, large gatherings. I prefer a smaller meeting, like, you know, one-on-one -on -one or just with a few close friends. Yeah, <laughs> when I have to go to, like, somebody's house or have 20 to 30 people over at my place, I get a little stressed out. And of course, I can just hide in my room, but you know, I don't want to do that because it's 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 rude. So I hope my family doesn't see this. Well, anyway, um Oh yeah, uh I know a lot of you have uh, mentioned to me or sent me messages to let me know that you like to use my videos as a sleep aid. You know, like you like to watch my videos just before you go to bed and then you will fall asleep with my videos. Am I that boring? I put you to sleep. <laughs> now, okay, I know a lot of people may find me boring because, you know, I'm just sitting here eating. I'm not even doing any speed eating or anything like that. Uh, that's okay if you think that. That's fine, but I, I get what you mean because I do the same thing myself, um, but not with my own videos. I watch other people's videos to fall asleep with, and I like to do that with this channel name called The Report of the Week. Have you guys heard of this channel, The Report of the Week, The Review Bra? Yeah, um, he's a uh, he reviews food, and he also does his radio shows like podcasts where he would just talk for like two to three hours non-stop you know he just keep talking about anything at all and the reason why i like his videos so much is because he just he's very peaceful you know his videos are very peaceful and calm you know he speaks softly in a very calm and polite manner he doesn't yell or have or raise his voice or you know be all animated he doesn't do that he's just very calm so I like to watch his videos to fall asleep with. <laughs> yeah, so I can totally get why some of you like to use my videos as sleep aid. You know, because I do the same thing. <laughs> well, if you're watching this and you're going to sleep, uh, good night and have pleasant dreams. Uh, maybe you might dream of fried chicken. <laughs> okay, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in my next video. Um, it would be like a little, s what was that? Sorry, that was my phone. Yeah, so my next video will be like a little Valentine's Day video. I'll most likely be eating sushi. Yeah, that's it. Until then, take care and love you. Bye!